Well, hello guys, 10 Pro over here. Today I have a new video for you guys. It's the top 10 best laptops over there. Some of these are budgets, some are not. So guys, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe for my videos on my channel. As I said in the beginning of this video, as I said in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna do a uh, top 10 best laptops, like gaming laptop, like dedicated hardware and stuff. And to kick off, we kick with the MSI GS60 Ghost Pro 3K. It's a, uh, it's uh, like it's, it, MSI came out again this time with a 3K laptop. Like, is that even possible in mobile setups? I, mean, I keep asking myself the same thing, like. The amount of texture detail you can get this laptop and the i7 and the 60 gigabyte of RAM and the 7 and the 9 sorry the 970M that's the mobile GPU inside it, it's great for the price of a thousand dollars. Well, next in my list is a it's an Asus laptop. It's a Asus. Wait a second. <coughs> Sorry, uh, need water. The Asus ROG G751. It's a gaming tank in a very in every sense. At 17 inches and at almost 5 kilograms, it's bigger and heavier than some other gaming laptops, but support a, a premium feel, a great design, and houses powerful comp comp components that justify the chunk. It's basically a little bit expensive, like uh, like in some sites you can get it for $1,600 or even $2,000. It's a great uh, laptop, like, and like they must, they seem expensive. And I'm inside my channel, right? They put like build logs for cheaper and better computers. But this is like for the mobile gamer, the guy, like, try to take his laptop everywhere he goes. And next inside, we have the Digital Storm Triton. The Dig Digital Storm Triton is an attractive, powerful, and most importantly, affordable gaming laptop. This is the only budget laptop in the list, I think. These are three qualities you don't often hear in the same sentence, making this machine special for pulling together such a rare combination. The Digital Storm is still an incredible deal, has enough computing power to play most modern games, at least in 60 FPS, and just a few to each to the graphics settings. Uh, what's more, the Triton has enough power to rival some of the biggest and baddest gaming machines we revealed. So, like, it has the power to go over the $700 configuration I did in my channel, and that's like a beast. And next is the Gigabyte P37X, came in, coming at the 7th position in the, room, uh, uh, in the chart. And this is a gaming laptop, not often light or thin or awful battery life, but it can cost a small fortune. Gigabyte, however, has bucked the trend with a 17.3 inch powerful machine or NVIDIA's latest GTX 980 GPU that neither thick or heavy it's a very powerful machine has a lot like it comes like with i7 processor stock it has 17.3 ips panel that's a really great screen great for gaming and incredible view angles and again for uh six position our arrows x7 pro arrows has a successfully put a hardcore gaming laptop in a in a chassis less than an inch thick Thick, uh, providing that you can enjoy a high performance machine that isn't a brick. In fact, the Asus, the Aerus, uh, Aerus X7 Pro is one of the best performing machines we ever tested. So basically, like when I ran it through, because this is the laptop I use in a daily basis, and I put, I decided to put it in the list because that's something like it's really powerful and it's really light and it's really big. So coming up next to the fifth position in our list today, we have the Asus, <coughs> sorry, Asus GL551. The Asus GL551 isn't the best looking game top around and definitely like it looks like shit. But it's mostly a joy to use the one that really matters. The metal keyboard, the deck, palm rest is a solid platform for games so there's no flex on the top and a tap will click uh, quickly uh, or well in the wee hours of the night so it's basically it's really good and it, when you like when your parents are sleeping and you need to play some games the keyboard doesn't make a sound it's really good and the like the heat like the thermal output like really low so you don't get the sweaty hands syndrome with this laptop 
Next we are on fourth position we have Origin EVO 15S. Fourth position. Yeah. This is a plenty like the 50 the 15S like from last year. Uh, no, sorry, the the 15S from this year, but it uh, comes an expensive premium. It's one of the few laptops with a well worth expense. The Origin machine is one of the thinnest, lightest gaming laptops possibly buy. You can possibly buy. So meanwhile, it doesn't skim a lot. Like like you have an excellent 1080p panel for all types of media and free storage drives and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Plus, there is no option to throw. There is also an option to throw a 4K display at screen if you want. And the next top, le next laptop is a Gigabyte P35K V3. The Gigabyte P35V3 is a nearly perfect machine, through, uh, through and through. Uh, it's amazingly thin with for with a 15.6 inch gaming laptop. It offers a performance and a decent uh, battery life compared to the competing models. The affordable space Gigabyte easily outputs the Asus ROG GL51 and the uh, Acer Aspire V15 Nitro. It's uh, more or less a $1,500 gaming PC with a lot like with uh, 7, yeah, 9, 965M GPU, it's a really good. Oh, and this is the Blade uh, 15 Razer. Like, it's a really good laptop and that's why I put it over here. It comes with a nice 7, it's great for workstation and like gaming. That's why I put this in the number 2 position because this is a laptop that can actually go both ways. It's really good for, but it's a little bit expensive. I'm saying like you can get this in some size for over $2,000 and it's like not worth it. And for the best gaming laptop over here, when we're talking about mobility and power, we come to the Origin PC again. It's the Origin EON 15X. It's a real headhunter. It packs a desktop, a desktop processor and a fairly com in a fairly compact 15.6 inch laptop that while smaller offers even performance compared to the other big hardcore gaming rigs. What's more important is the extra CPU power clutch for users who need to video editing and process intensive tasks. So this is a workstation laptop also like if you're uh, like a gamer and your YouTube channel and you need to take your workstation with you but you cannot fit like that 900D inside your uh, baggage so you just take this laptop it's really good and guys thanks for watching don't forget to like rate and subscribe for my channel I'll be posting videos weekly and hope you guys enjoy it leave a like if you like it dislike if you dislike it and leave a comment if I have to improve thanks and bye